Hey twins, it's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your energy update for those of you guys who are dealing with your twin flame. This certainly could resonate for you. If it does, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. I also have another channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do love readings for all the zodiac signs. So be sure to check that out. All right, we're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's happening in this twin flame connection on the journey. I have some tarot. I have some oracle cards. And so let's get right into your reading, okay? All right, my twins out there, what's going on for my twins? Okay, we have time for a nap. Is someone taking a nap? I'm getting the energy of ghosting. Some of you guys are dealing with your twin who they completely ghosted you, okay? This is someone who needs time to think about things, all right? Um, I'm feeling as if they need time to disconnect. There's a recovery here, kind of like the Four of Swords, disconnecting, detaching. It may have happened abruptly, but this is telling me that someone here wasn't ready. Someone was snoozing. Okay, it's almost like you were in this connection with your twin and they were just like sleeping on the job. Okay, I'm getting they were not aware. They were not conscious of what was really going on. This is someone here who was not ready for something here, ready for commitment. Okay, I'm getting they were not um, open. Okay, so I'm getting closed off energy. I'm getting snoozing. I'm getting just um, completely unaware of what this connection really required. Okay, completely unaware and oblivious to some of the things that they've done as well that may have hurt you because we have someone here who was just um, sleeping. Okay, we also have them right now. That's the energy of taking rest, regrouping, recuperating. Some of you guys are in conflict and that's why they're kind of in this snoozing energy. All that glitters, all that glitters is not gold, right? And your person could be learning a lesson. I feel like this is someone who may have thought the grass was greener on the other side, okay? I'm getting the energy of them getting um, sidetracked, distracted. So some of you guys, they could have been looking at everybody else except you, okay? There's the energy of playing around or being fooled by gold, materialistic things. Maybe they're attracted to someone who was perhaps better looking than you or you felt as if you weren't good enough because they were distracted, Okay, I'm getting that there was definitely a lot of materialism here. Someone here may have let money. Okay, maybe they were attracted to you for money. Some of you guys, you felt like they used you for your money. They used you for because you had a lot of financial security. You were very wealthy. You were successful. You may have came from money, a family of money. And so there's something about um, using the other person for money. Now, take it how it resonates. Feel free to switch the roles. The thinker energy. So your person's doing a lot of thinking. So right now, during this time of separation, because you guys perhaps are, are in separation, you haven't been talking, perhaps there's no communication, but there's the energy of deep, deep thinking. So that's a good sign that your person is thinking and reflecting on how they showed up in the connection, on how they failed you. There's something here about, you know, thinking about their actions, reflecting how they may have um, done you wrong in some way. Thinking, assessing the situation, thinking about what they can do, how to move forward. Okay, what now? I'm getting recovery. I'm getting definitely a recovery healing energy. I feel like your person that has that downtime now to think about what the next moves could be. We have orphaned. We have unfinished symphony. Milk and honey. Okay. So your person is feeling like an orphan. Okay, it's like that five of pentacles energy. They feel left out in a cold. I'm getting this is someone who feels alone, very miserable. They may be missing your touch, your warmth, your affection, okay, your love. This is someone who's finding themselves um, in this place of lack. They don't have the support from you. They don't have your interest. They don't have um, your attention right now. And so now they're feeling alone, miserable by themselves. There's the energy of definitely um, the five. The fives are typically lack, okay, okay. Um, instability, okay, a lot of unpredictability, uncertainty as to what's going to happen between you and them. They feel some of you guys, you've excommunicated from them or you you blocked off communication and that's why they're feeling like an orphan, feeling like there's, um, they don't know what to do right now. There's the energy of feeling lost, a lost soul. We have unfinished symphony. 
So there's some unfinished business here. It's like you guys still have a story to write. They feel it, you feel it, like you guys still have this beautiful music to make, okay? There's something here about unfinished business. Something here isn't done yet. So something may have came to an end. Tens or endings in tarot with the number 10 here. Something came to an end, but it wasn't the way it should have happened. I feel like you guys didn't close this cycle correctly, especially if all of a sudden they decided to ghost and, and take a nap. I'm getting something here just wasn't done right. And there's the energy of what we had. If there was so much potential here, we could have had, we could have been, you know, making things happen. I'm getting a lot of good things could have came for this connection if this person was just ready and took that leap of faith, made those sacrifices, but they were unwilling. So I feel like there's a lot of unfinished business. They feel it. You feel it. Milk and honey. Some of you guys, they look at you as that milk and honey. Okay. You are just delightful. You are sweet. You are loving. Some of you guys, you may have had very supple, soft skin, okay? There's that milk and honey energy. They miss you. There's the energy of you being that sweetness, right? We have a rainbow here. Like, there was a lot of good energy from you. There's definitely energy of wanting to, um, to get back into this milk and honey where things were sweet, where things were loving and nurturing, right? You guys enjoyed your time with each other. All right, so... Let me get some other messages for my twins out there. Okay, any more messages for my twins? Clear messages. Oops. Unconditional love. Okay, some of you guys, your person still has a lot of love for you. It's unconditional, okay? Um, telepathy, your person is definitely still connected to you. You're still connected to them. It's almost like they want to write you a letter. A lot of you guys, you know this person still wants to reach out to you, okay? There's still a lot of love. Pink is that um, that color of, you know, love, emotions, feelings, romance, right? Um, I feel like your person is really wanting to reach out, but they're not. And so a lot of you guys are connecting with this person in a telepathic form, Okay. Um, I also feel like the dream state, you guys could be um, getting signs, synchronicities, um, hearing things, okay? But definitely connecting in the dream state. Your person may be communicating with you. We have a life partner, forever potential. So your person actually saw you as their life partner. They actually saw themselves doing life together, right? Moving forward, having a lifetime commitment with you. They saw this as like forever, right? Even if there wasn't like a solid plan as to how you guys were going to do this, there was an the energy of we're going to live life together. We're going to do this. We're going to come together. We're going to have a union. We're going to build life. We're going to make memories. So I feel like your person is missing you because it's the energy of I want to reach out. I want to reach out to my person. I miss you, okay? All right, we have the false twin flame lesson not a divine connection some of you guys you're dealing with a false twin flame okay that's what it's saying here a lot of you guys you thought this was your twin flame but it's not some of you guys you're just dealing with someone who's just your soulmate okay some of you guys you may be very conflicted is this my soulmate is this my twin flame is this a karmic okay for a select few of you guys this is your false twin flame okay it's not entirely you know don't that that term gets thrown around so much right we have fear, holding back, overthinking. So your person is definitely in fear right now, overthinking something, especially since you guys are not communicating. They're thinking the worst. I'm getting their emotions are getting the best of them. But I'm also seeing that this is someone who's overthinking anxiety, worry, stress, especially because they're in this orphan energy. A lot of you guys, you're not talking. And so they're wondering what's going on with you. Do you care about me? Do you even love me anymore? Okay, there's a lot of emotional distance here and it's making your person very anxious. I'm getting like a panic attack, but they're holding back because they're afraid. There's a fear, but they're also afraid of losing you. I'm hearing they're afraid to lose you. Okay, because they're realizing their actions have not done right by you. And so they think that you're moving on. We have bad influences unsupportive family and friends, drugs, alcohol, bad habits. So your person definitely could have had some things they had to work on. There was a lot of bad, neg uh, bad negative influences in their life. 
Okay, I'm getting toxic friends, family that was not in support of this connection could have definitely drove you guys apart. I'm getting like for some of you guys, their family just didn't like you for no reason at all. It could have been like one family member in particular that um, really drove this connection into the dirt. I'm also hearing dependencies, codependencies, drugs, alcohol, okay? This person may have been addicted to things that weren't good for them. Sex, okay, that may have certainly, again, caused divisions in this connection. Bad habits, obsessive thoughts, sexual. I'm getting a lot of things that your person was connected to or um, could have been like the devil, right? It's things that weren't good, toxic, obsessions. We have unawakened. Ruled by the ego. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's unawakened, okay? Didn't I just say sleeping? Your person did not wake up. They were sleeping. They were sleeping on the job, right? So that's the energy of being unawoken, unawakened, right? They're, they're not woken to this connection. So that's why some of you guys, they sabotage just because they weren't aware. They were oblivious. They were unaware. And that's what that unawakened, unawakened energy is. We have priority. Family provider, make the effort. So a lot of you guys, there's the energy of now wanting to make you a priority or there was a situation here where your person wasn't making you a priority in the past and now they want to change that. Okay, so I feel like your person definitely, they may have spent more time doing things they wanted to do. Family, friends, okay, especially if they had a lot of negative influences and bad habits, they weren't making you a priority. Some of you guys, you felt neglected. You felt like the orphan, right? It was like a lot of, Late nights, you were by yourself. This person never reached out to you to the day later or a day after. And you felt you weren't a priority in this person's life. You felt you weren't good enough. Right? You felt like you weren't being you weren't being heard. Some of you guys, you voice this to your person over and over and over. I'm not getting my needs met. I don't feel like you spend enough time with me. Do you even care about me? Your actions don't show that you care. So they didn't make you a priority. Right? And so there's the energy of, you know, them not making or putting enough effort. And that's why something here did not work. It's safe for you to love, take action, leap of faith. Yeah, so there's something about your person wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to reach out. Okay, we have a message here. The person wants to write to you, but they feel like they can't. I'm getting, we have a bottle, empty bottle. Your person has a lot of things bottled up about the way things ended, a lot of things that have been left unspoken. I'm getting bottled up emotions and feelings. There's some things they want to say to you. They want to take action, but they're not sure if it's safe. They're not sure if you are going to open up your arms, if you're going to let them in. They want to take action, but they don't feel it's safe to love. Okay? This person is, is saying, I want to take action. I want to Take that leap of faith. I want to jump into the unknown with you. I want movement. But I'm not sure if, if it's the right time. I'm not sure if you're going to allow me. Right? Given everything that has happened. So your person does not feel like it's a safe place right now. And that's why they're overthinking. That's why they're in this thinker energy. Trying to... I'm getting contemplating. Contemplating the next steps with you. And so there's a fear of holding... Uh, fear holding back. So they're holding back right now. They, they want to take action, but they feel like they have to hold back. They feel like they're in the dark regarding you. They don't know your feelings for them. Some of you guys, they think that you've moved on, right? You wouldn't make them a priority right now because of what they did to you. There's a strong energy of them feeling, I'm getting in fear. Just a lot of fear here, okay? All right. Intimacy. And we have compromise. So I feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone who had issues regarding being intimate with you or may have had intimate connections with other people you may have found out and maybe the reason why you guys split up, okay? I feel like definitely there's a situation here where someone here, um, you wanted more love from this person. Maybe they came with passion but not enough love and intimacy. There may have been something lacking in this area, especially if they gave it to someone else. They may have, again, caused some serious issues or problems, Okay, especially if it could have been like a third party. So we also have the energy of compromising. So your person is recognizing that, you know what? I did less than. I could have done better. I could have been there for you, right? I could have loved you harder. I, you know, maybe I shouldn't have lied. So they want to compromise. This is come back together, make it work. So your person is actually wanting to make things work. There's the energy of reconciling here. 
Can we do this? Can we make things happen? Will you let me back in your life? Will you accept me? I was wrong, okay? So there could also be an apology. So your person definitely wants to meet you halfway. Certainly if there was a lack of reciprocity, unequal give and take, they want to meet you halfway and they want to do things better. We have addiction. Addictive behaviors are impacting this partnership. So we have that addiction card. We have bad influences. Definitely was something here your person had to free themselves from. That addiction could be anything. Again, sex addiction, drug. Um, it could be addicted to partying, right? Um, things that just were not good for you or for the person that you're dealing with. We have confusion. There is a great uncertainty in the current affairs um, current state of affairs and a lack of understanding amongst the parties. So some of you guys, you separated because there was a lot of confusion, right? Especially with the, all that glitters. They may have been, again, giving attention to other people, things that look shiny, things that look new, right? As so, soon as someone new comes around in their life, all of a sudden, they, they take the attention off you. You are no longer their priority. So that brought a lot of confusion. It's like, well, do you even love me, right? Like you say you do. Do you even love me? Where do we stand, right? So a lot of you guys, you don't, you weren't sure of this person's feelings for you because their actions did not show that they really loved you or they really cared. Confession, hidden feelings will eventually come to the surface. So some of you guys, your person, um, they want to confess their feelings, right? Milk and honey. They're still very much still desire you. They look at you as that sweetness that they love. Okay, this is someone who looks at you as dessert. They want to confess their feelings, bottled up emotions here. So your person definitely has a lot to say. They've been holding back quite a bit. And I'm getting now it's about time that they have to like confess these feelings because it's eating them up. We have divine timing. So this connection is divinely guided and supported. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a divine partner. Again, false twin flame. Then maybe you're just your divine partner here. Okay. Which is okay. I mean, I'm tapping into everyone's energy, not just my twin flame. So um, it's okay. You know, you hear. You could be definitely dealing with a divine partner. And it's saying that you guys will come together, but it's going to happen in divine timing. It's not on your timing, right? There is some energy of compromising, confessing, okay? But I feel like your person has a lot of negativity around them that they're breaking free from. Chaos. Chaos, unexpected, unforeseen events have created disturbances and disorder in this partnership. So your person is definitely in, they create chaos. I'm getting an energy of someone here just creating drama and chaos, making things much difficult for them. So the chaos, the drama that they created, they're now trying to sort through this. And that's why they're in that thinker energy, taking a nap, because now your person is slowly waking up and realizing that I don't want this chaos in my life. I want to move away from this. So you may be dealing with someone who's now spiritually developing, growing up, emotionally wanting a real mature connection, okay? Because I feel like a person could have been dealing with people that weren't really satisfying them, right? They weren't really meeting their needs. It could have been like just fun or passionate connection, sex only. But at the end of the day, your person was left feeling like an orphan, feeling alone. So that means they were not getting their needs met. So whoever they were dealing with, some of you guys, it was a third party. They were not being satisfied by this third party. And at the end of the day, they're missing you. They're missing their milk and honey, right? Communication. Your person wants to communicate. Openly share your feelings, Speak your truth and listen with open ears. They actually want to listen to you. So not only just speak, they actually want to hear you out this time. Detachment. You guys have been working on energetically detaching from this person, cord cutting, freeing your soul from this person because you felt they were no good for you. Acceptance. Accepting this situation can allow the release of any stuck energy. So yeah, I feel like your person is now coming to accept this connection, now ready to surrender. But I feel like this is happening just when a lot of you guys are giving up. You're accepting that you can't hold on to this person and this connection anymore. Because I see someone also detaching and saying, you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to do this anymore. But it's saying this is all going to come together. Spirit is bringing you guys together, but it's going to happen in divine timing. But your person has to know that they're, they're, they're safe to love you, that you're going to open up your arms, that they can come towards you and, you know, you guys are going to work things out together, that you're not going to run away, that you're not going to hurt them. Because I feel like they hurt you, but the reason why they hurt you is because they were hurt or they were afraid to be hurt. 
And so now this is someone who's like overthinking, strategizing. What do I do? What do I do? Panicking, feeling alone, feeling miserable without you, fearing, fearing, right? A lot of fear, fear about taking these next steps towards you, but they want you. There's the energy of now wanting to make your priority, communicating with you, wanting to confess their love. So let's get the hidden truth. Some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle. I know that I crossed the line with you, so this person definitely um, hurt you or they stepped out of the boundaries. They've done things that they should have never done. A lot of you guys, you don't trust this person anymore because there were boundaries that this person did not respect. It's time for me to heal now, so this person is taking time. They're napping because they want to heal. They know they actually have to now heal because if they keep jumping into relationships and not spending time to heal their wounds, it's going to keep reoccurring and they're going to keep repeating cycles. We always talk about that. I hide behind material things. Yeah, this person definitely is materialistic. All that glitters, this person definitely is materialistic. It's like they value more like they, they value quantity over quality or people who just look good compared to people who actually you can have an emotional connection with, right? Stimulating conversation. I couldn't let you get too close to me. So this person has vulnerability issues. As soon as you guys got real close, they pushed you away, right? This person may have been very passionate, but when you got too close, when they felt themselves falling for you, falling in love with you, they pushed you away. They ran off. Definitely some vulnerability issues. So that is what I'm seeing with my twins. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you. And um, yeah, you guys all take care. Bye.